Hey love bugs, it's Riles. I'm back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, as always, thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. Many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please drop a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And if you feel like the video just gives good vibes uh, that you would love to share with another person or, you know, whatever, it is truly appreciated. So I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And the video uh, is going to be about Twin Flame 101. Hey, Oka is moving forward through your truth of eternal freedom. It is true. You know, um, when I was writing this title, down i seen like a visualization not just me but many other people where we were chained to our past we were chained to our anything that 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 basically created a narrative of our lives we're actually being bold um to finally take those shackles off you know uh in different ways and you know we've there's a lot of time that we have looked at our lives you you know you can look at your life and imagine something totally different into your life um and it is it's kind of like it ties into the video i just made before that it was talking about bold, bold choices of you know making those bold, bold choices of moving forward um basically by doing things differently you know, we, we can always tie ourselves down to our past. We can always tie ourselves down to things that we lack, things that we wish we had and we don't have, which is tying into what we lack um, or based off of fear or uh, a fear of our past or our fear for the future. And either one of them could exist instead of us allowing ourselves to be in the present. You know, seeing how we can create something without having to be tied down to something unless it's something beautiful. You know, I'm tying myself down to lift myself up. I'm tying myself down to, um, you know, um, moving forward in, a, in a, a positive, you know, vibration instead of surrounding myself with negative circumstances. Becoming the product of that. You don't, you know, whatever you're going through from that is going against you. You know, you're making that that movement on changing to tie ourselves down from anything that doesn't leave us in the free will of making better choices, of uh, doing things that um, that we can be proud of doing. You know, if, especially if you're doing it through you know positive intent. And you know, um, a lot of things that we have gone through, um, it, it can really damper your life. You know, um, going through a lot of different things, you're creating that change within yourself. If you know you believe in to yourself, you know, you have that confidence in what doors you want to open. You know, you can be able to do that, but you're having to move through that without the chains of what has taken place. But being a present, because a lot of times, you know, I, I read up on different things or I come across different videos or different you know, uh, meditations or mantras that I have and being able to say, I, I'm appreciating the person I am right now, you know, and what I'm being able to make better within my life and um, just being good with it, you know, just being okay. Because it's like a lot of times when you with yourself, you, you know, if you're in, we can get a lot of times we can be stuck in our whatever we got going on in our lives. But when you really force yourself to say, let me change the perspective on how I do things. Let me change my perspective of how I move, you know, how I see, how I act, how I say, how I think, you know, and being able to do that. And you'll start noticing that different change in you. Because a lot of times we can, it, it's easy to stay frustrated. It's easy to stay in a negative vibration. And now it's at that point, it's just like, uh, I'm ready for a change in my life, you know, because things are changing around me. Why don't I change with the change? You know, and that's all they're telling you, go through the flow, you know, allowing yourself to, you know, um, allow yourself to move through the emotional freedom, even though a lot of times we feel like we're not free with everything that's going on in the world. And it is just like, but when we start moving different, 
you know, you can be at that point where it's like, I, I'm a leader, not a follower, or I follow to the beat of my own drum. And a lot of times, just like if we see certain things into the world, we'll, we'll go against those morals that we, we you know, what we're, you know, supposed to be a proclamation, you know, declaration of proclamation, whatever. And we can go through that. But this is at that time where you're using different vibrations to get out of that loop. You know, and that's what it is. It's like when I see a lot of the things that I write, it's like you're you're allowing yourself to get out of that loop of what uh, can go on in your life. And it's just like a lot of times when I need my own self pep talk, I'll pick one of my other videos and go right back to it. Like it'll be, you know, just looking at myself and conversating like, girl, you can do this. You know, whatever's going on with you, God's got you. Universe got you. Your God's got you. And, you know, you can really do this. And you have to, a lot of times you got to keep believing, believing, believing. And that's where, that's where, you, you know, you're strengthening yourself. It's just like you're working out. And you know you're working out to turn yourself, you know, get toned up, you know, allow yourself to, you know, shed the pounds and stuff like that. And you know when you're being consistent about it, you're starting to notice that muscles that you have, you never knew you had. You're starting to feel sore in different places, like, oh, it hurts. And that's basically going through growing pains because you're allowing yourself to be free. You're shedding the old you. You know, and that is not easy to do. It is not easy to do because, like I said before, it's easy for you to fall back in what was comfortable. And a lot of times that it's just like we're like, I'm not comfortable doing this. You know, I'm not comfortable going through what I'm going through. But that's when we became a product of our own circumstances that surrounded us. But being able to do that and using a different way to go about it really are going a different way to go about it. You know, you're taking that chains off of mistakes you're taking your chains off of whatever hurts you you know um being able to use those different narratives to be that thing that tells you i, I want to motiv motivate myself through that you know through the times of change even though it's not going to be easy for me i can create something i've never seen in myself because that's why a lot of times they tell us to be creative you know we give you these different ideas different inspirations that can make you move boldly you know, because a lot of times if your life doesn't feel fulfilled or you get bored or you get redundant, they're, they're telling you step out and find new ways of doing it or find do different things that that can create something else into your life. That's why it's just like, dang, when I'm, it's like when I'm talking, you know, I see the the uh, the tarot card and it's talking about, you know, um, the trust, integrity or um, what is it? God, dog, what is it? It was trust and integrity, ideas and inspirations. And those, you know, and that's coming up. You, you're you using different things that's coming into your mind because there's, when you're clearing out a lot of things, you're making room for something new to come in. And then that, that's where it, it's just like where they always tell you, take time to meditate, take time to pray, get type, take time for journaling, take time um, to create your own mantras, you know, your own affirmations. Because a lot of times we get our affirmations from social media because there's a lot of people that do different videos about, you know, this is the new mantra for the week or this is the new uh, affirmation for the week. Because I know a lot of a lot of times I put this on there, you know, especially if I see some that are like um, meditations to clear your heart chakra. Um, clear your you know your you know strengthen your third eye strengthen your crown you know so everything can become alignment and you're trying to get balance within that you know and those are the beautiful things you're doing when you become you know you're your own walking billboard of affirmation you're the own your your own billboard of a vessel of a mantra you know you create your own buddha yourself you know that's why we're all connected to everything it's just all about how we choose to see it how we choose to go about it and being able to grow from that and it's just like dad you know I'm allowing myself to be free because a lot of times we, we don't realize when we change ourselves to a lot of things that has taken place in our past and we allow that divine define us and sometimes we do that subconsciously sometimes people use that to play safe or to get attention or there's a lot of times we do it and we don't even realize we're doing it until we start noticing the changes taking place because it's like I, like I said before there's a lot of times I'll see different videos and I'm like Ugh, you know why did I do that you know and then it'll be just like you know what allow yourself to leave that up it's okay you know um, because it's like it's showing me how much I've changed 
you know, throughout that time, how, how far I've come from everything that's taken place in my life that I thought was going to blow me away, you know, um, and just being able to say I'm proud of myself, you know, it's just like, don't allow yourself to get rid of something because it, you know, make you cringe or whatever, but allow yourself to look at that and it's like, you know what, I, I see myself at that vibration and I noticed how I was at that time and it's okay to allow myself to be that way because I'm being discerning to myself, using that as, um, a stepping stone and say, you know what, I was create, I was in that vibe at that time. You know, and a lot of times y'all tell me um, how you can relate to the things that I talk about. And it's like, oh, you know, she's really speaking some real cool vibes. She's very strong. And, you know, I tell people, I didn't get like this overnight. You know, there's a lot of different things that I battle with that y'all don't realize. You know, y'all don't know I deal with. But I kept that to myself. Um, you know, and I allowed myself to know what is relevant to help other people speak on that. You know, um, there have been times that I spoke out of pain. There'll be times I spoke out of ego, pride, you know, external validation. It's okay because I can recognize that I did that and being able to do it and just being able to say it's okay. I can allow people to see me at that time because it's showing you how much that you've changed, how much you have grown, you know, spiritually, emotionally, mentally, verbally, psychologically, you know, all those different things. And I can say I'm proud of myself. You know, because before, you know, I used to, especially when I was talking about, um, you know, when I first started, you know, I told people, you know, yeah, um, I used to be addicted to marijuana. I did. You know, I was dealing with a lot of damn pain then. You know, I had to deal with a lot of truth. And now it's just like allowing myself to really go through it raw, you know, and it's not easy to do that. You know, that's why I tell people I, I don't judge you. You know, if you had to use something to cope with your pain, you know, I tell anybody, if you're an empath, you know, we all feel, you know, deep. We feel deep, not just with ourselves, but other things that are around us. And it's hard to deal with that. It's hard to deal with that. So people, you know, create a persona behind their pain. A lot of people create um, an alter ego from those situations. And a lot of us cope medically from that. You know, there's people that use opiates. You know, there's people that use very harsh drugs. Um, or there's people that have eating disorders for that. They have um, uh, disorders from their personality. You know, and I really don't feel like there, there's certain mental illness for that. But I'm, a lot of times these things are based on what we have, you know, lived through, what we have um, been exposed to. And now it's just to be able to take that and use it to the best advantage. You know, it made me think about Robin Williams. God rest his soul. I miss that man. He was so funny. And he, you know, and he had no problem with telling people he struggled through mental illnesses. He used that in a lot of his characters until, you know, the inevitable has happened. And that makes me think about that. You know, you can be able to use what you have gone through to be that milestone to be able to create something that you never thought you could. And you're, you're taking that as like, uh-uh, I don't want to be chained to what, what has happened to me. I don't want to chain, be chained to something about where I was violated in some kind of way or what was taken from me. Let me build something off of something that's not based off of the pain that I have unless it's something positive you know even though you had that you can use that as a tool to build yourself up okay if you were that type of person that always spoke negative about yourself and if you can find two or three things that you can say positive about yourself right before you go to sleep and three things positive about yourself when you first wake up in the morning I'm a, I'm a you know I'm a type of person I may not like you know who I am but I, I noticed that you know when you can find yourself and you speak negative about yourself you know oh you know I'm always by myself this and this and that okay but think about when you do talk to individuals are you you know you speaking kind are you uh, being very supportive encouraging or do you always allow yourself to make somebody laugh you know it's like it's so easy for us to see ourselves in a negative way because of based off of other people's projections but what can we find within ourselves that can make us feel good inside like you know what I'm a goofy person people know it's like you know especially uh, I saw uh, what's his name anger as at Alex, and he was just like, he was listening to one of my videos, he said, I was listening to it in a coffee shop, and then it was like, people were busting out laughing, he's like, you got people laughing from you from a thousand miles away, 
you know, because I think he lives in South Wales or something like that. I know you probably watched the video, but it was like, I know he's in Wales or something in the UK, you know, and it made me feel really good when you can do that. And it's just like when you know you can bring something positive out of something that, you know, uh, that you know you can make a difference, not just with yourself, but other individuals. That's a good thing to be proud of. And they're telling you pay attention to that. Allow yourself to feed yourself through the positivity on that. Even if people don't really notice you, you'll notice it within yourself. And then when you notice that and you keep projecting that and projecting that, it may not happen overnight, but whatever you're doing, it will start being noticed. It, and it will gradually be noticed. You'll start noticing the change within yourself that you notice that you're going through a spiritual freedom. You know, it was always there, but it just took us to have to move through that to see it you know we it's easy for us to go into that narrative of a negative scenario or we can allow ourselves to say yeah you know I was in that but now I'm choosing to do something different you know and allowing myself to take those chains off that I was so comfortable in you know and it's not like you're comfortable in chains but that's what we became comfortable with dealing with you know I got this going on I got that going on and we're like yeah we do we all got something going on now a lot of times we can look at people in social media or you know not seeing somebody on a day-to-day -day basis or what they're going on in their surroundings but you may just see the good parts of it you know because there's a lot of times especially on platforms like this where they don't allow you to see the negative side of themselves they always show you the positive you know what's going good you know let's do a house tour or this is I'm doing a, a you know a fashion over you haul different things like that but you don't know how how much that person had to work and earn to get those things, whether it was good or bad, but they, you know, you don't see behind the scenes on those different things. And a lot of times that's why they tell us, you know, going through your purging and stuff like that, stay off social media. <laughs> you know, don't be watching stuff like that because there may be something that you really want in your life and it's just not happening for you right at that point. But if you know you keep working at it on a daily basis, who's to say it won't happen? Because that's when, when you're allowing yourself to try something different, moving different, speaking different, seeing things different, you know, adding more to your, you know, no, more to your routine, you, you'll figure out something that you didn't even know was there, you know, and it's just like that, you know. These are the things that I've been told, and that you know, because a lot of times we can get so frustrated. We're like, "What are they trying to tell us? What are they trying to tell me? What are they trying to tell me?" And we're thinking that universe is being trivial, and it's not. It's all about what we choose, how we choose to see it. Are we forcing ourselves to see something that we're scattering our mind based on fear, or allowing ourselves to calm? You know, using breathing exercise. You know, allowing yourself to. <sighs> what are they trying to tell me? <laughs> you know, it would be something like that. And you, when you allow yourself to really move through that way, you know, you, you can see how far you came. You know, and I always say that, you know, you may not be exactly where you want to be at, but you are nowhere near the person that, you know, started this journey. You're not. You know, you deal with a lot of different things. We all do. There's something that we're, we're dealing with, we're coping with, and it's just like, can this ever change? Yeah, it can. You know, it, it's just a lot of times it takes a little bit longer, and that's where that's where the challenge comes in when things are very slow, because God will intentionally procrastinate on certain things just for you to see something into yourself that He's noticed this whole time. He noticed this whole time about you. You know, He He speak good things about you. You have guides that you know talk to you, whisper in your ear. Even a lot of times when we don't feel it, it's gonna be okay. Everything's going to be all right. Even though you may not see that, we see what lies ahead. And when you allow yourself to see what lies ahead, you're taking those chains off of what was the norm. You're taking the chains off of what you 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 got used to dealing with. You know, because I know it's like comfortability and it's like a lot of times it's not comfortable. And when we, if we allow ourselves to really step back and look at our perspective, if things are going rocky like that, it's really challenging you. And a lot of times that can be frustration. There'll be times that you have to take a break. There'll be times that, you know, you had to really, you know, go through things and um, really see them for what they were. And it's just like, okay, you know, I had to be able to go through that. I had to be able to experience that. You know, if I didn't, I really wouldn't know who I could be. I really didn't know what I can form myself as to to my truth you know I was always based on we, we were in that structure of what we were programmed to do 
we were structured into how we thought about certain things instead of speaking out the box. You know, a lot of times it felt like, you know, if, if you were that type of person where just the way you moved and how you said things, it, it threatened a lot of people, intimidated a lot of people. Now you're allowing yourself to, you you see that has nothing to do with you. There's more to do with them, you know, how people project and how they see things. You know, nobody's perfect. You know, we, we, we go through a lot of things and sometimes it's hard for us to accept, okay, yeah, I used to talk negative, you know, or yeah, I used to, you know, see things from other people's point of view and not allowing myself to see it from my point of view as well. You know, being able to say, do I agree with me? Am I allowing myself to be, you know, you, you're, you, you, the way I see it is like the last two years was like you are a work in progress. Now you're at this year where you're placing, you're sculpting your masterpiece. That's what it is. You know, you done cleared out a lot of different things that has taken place and you're shedding off of what is no longer that of you. You know, it's just like you're in a chrysalis, you know, um, as a being a butterfly and you're starting to allow yourself to come out that chrysalis. You had to learn through the darkness. That's why they say they put you in the dark, you know, because a lot of times we feel comfortable with embracing the light, but they we, we cringe at our dark. And they said for you to be able to nurture that, you know, because you were in a bad place at one time. You, you were dealing with a lot of heaviness. You may be dealing with it. You still may be dealing with it, but it's not as hard as it was before. You're starting to learn the lessons from that. You're starting to experience what you need to experience off of that so you can grow off of that. And then when you start seeing that way, you know, the, the change just start coming off and start dissolving the old part of you. You start probably noticing <clears throat> if you're going through a lot of stuff right now, and you notice how it, it can make you feel bloated, it can make you feel heavy, it can make you feel like semen. But then you notice and gradually it's starting to get make you feel lighter and lighter and lighter. And that means that you're shedding off a lot of different things into your life that you didn't know that weighed you down. You know? And for that to happen, it took for you to change the perspective and how you tend to go about things. And I was just like, wow. You know, being able to do that because it's like it's not easy to do. It really isn't. That's something that it, it takes progress. You know, just like I said, with working out and stuff like that, you're going to start feeling the hurt. You're going to start feeling the pain. And sometimes you're like, oh my God, you know, because there's been times like, I, I mean, I've walked for like five, six miles and then I would jog five or six miles. And then after that, you know, I had to take a break for a day or two. And then it got to that point where I was noticing the stiffness, but then I would start allowing myself to go through that pain and add on more. And that's what we're doing within our lives. You know, you start getting used to that pain, but that pain, you know, is going to progress into something different, something good that you can look in the mirror and like, heck, I'm proud of myself. You know, I done came a long way. And that's how they want you to be able to look at it. You're taking that chains off because you're moving through your truth, truth of anything that doesn't attach to nothing of a narrative that, you know, held you back before. So, you know, keep on moving. Those chains is coming off and you're walking out that cell because the cell, you know, that prison of pain, that door was always open. We just had to choose to push through it. So hopefully you are able to resonate with the content of this video, y'all. Whatever kind of uh, manif manis that you're working on into your life, keep on allowing yourself to be bold and doing it. You know, even if it, if it doesn't feel like it's moving, you know, the way you felt like it was moving, no one is still moving. You know, you just don't see it. You know, everything, you know, you may be seeing 444 a lot. You never know what's going on behind the scenes for you. So keep going. It could be a lot more than you ever imagined. and come sooner than you ever, you know, thought or expected. So allow yourself to keep moving. Even through social distancing, make sure you give out love, light, positivity, words, wide frequencies. You just never know. All those things really take somebody a long way. And remember um, that I leave my contact information in the description box below. So if you ever want to talk to me, chit chat, it's all about, you know, uh, spiritual networking, you know, to be able to give you a deeper understanding about your path of purpose. Or if you want to just share something with me, you know, to see if this is something that we usually go through, you know, whatever we speak on, I always tell people don't ever feel stupid by the things you tell me. Don't ever feel like you sound crazy because I won't, I won't make you feel those ways. You know, I'll just let you know, hey, you know, do hey, Ocas, do the empaths. Yeah. We go through this. Yeah, we experience this. You know, so it's just to give you a deeper understanding of that. You know, whatever we speak on is confidential. And I try to help you out the best way I know how. And I'll see you on my next video. Much love. Peace. Well, you'll see me on my next video. Bye.